Southern California native, so I wasn't really expecting to stay more than a couple of years when I moved to the area. But I have now lived here just over five years, and it's just been a great learning experience, and the community has really embraced me and welcomed me. Uh, I'm from Omaha, so it seemed like a natural fit after college. I, I moved back. It's a large city, but it's also one that you can make a tangible impact in, so it feels small. I think Omaha is sort of like perfectly primed for an entrepreneur. You can do something small and it has like a, it's well known within the community. Moving out here, everyone asked me if they even had cars here, which I thought was really odd. <laughs> and I was just like, well, yeah, they have cars here. Why I love Omaha is just the people I've met. They are very welcoming, they're very friendly. I've had really amazing employment opportunities. I get to work with a ton of organizations and just UNMC in general. It's an amazing place to work and we're doing great things for the community health research and patient care wise. And why would I leave that? We're really focused on helping to promote the, the self-determination of Latino families and individuals in the region and really helping to carve out opportunities for many individuals who are working really hard to get ahead in life. Hutch started in June of 2013 as just a weekend idea. We kind of kept it alive and moved to Midtown Crossing and our new store consists of 80% modern products. We're bringing in nine new furniture lines not here in town yet, and then working with 10 different local makers to have them make exclusive lines of furniture, ceramics, art, um, a really viable option for some artisans here in our community. I think I've helped develop the Omaha community with our Science Cafe program, which is where we bring a scientist to a bar to slow down once a month, and they talk on a science subject, and there's beer, and there's pizza, but it's supposed to be a casual conversation. It's not supposed to be a lecture, and I think it's people that are interested in science, and not necessarily medical students or science graduates. It's the man walking down the street because he wanted, he heard something on the news about Ebola and how he's probably going to get it. So now he comes and learns, oh, I'm probably not going to get Ebola. It's really important to be able to have um, some kind of support system or support network that can give you some very honest feedback. And that, uh, I have to say, has really helped me tremendously to, I think, just help me evolve my way of, of looking at myself and looking at my work. Nick and I both spend about 30 to 40 minutes a, a day just shutting the door um, to the world and uh, getting the dogs out of the room, getting Nick out of the room. and Like what's, what's good in my life, what is not good in my life, and how do, I, how do I change that? How do I make my future what I want? You can be as busy as you want, but you also have to be intentional about taking care of your mind. There's a large interest in creating communities that are much more inclusive with young people really changing what that conversation is looking like and exercising within their spheres of influence, closing those gaps. It's not just about selling furniture. We need to put our community and our health above uh, our brand and make sure that it, it reflects that. Be active, don't just go on Facebook and rant about something. Actually go out and do something about it, be proactive. And I think we're a really strong generation with really good opinions and we're ones that would go out there and get something done. Don't be intimidated by your ideas, don't be intimidated by your bosses, your colleagues, your friends, because we are the future of Omaha and we have to just kind of embrace our change. Um, and the change we want to see in our community and just make it happen. We can make a difference and I think we'll help Omaha in the future by being loud. <laughs>